Mr. Jesus, it's going to be a really busy day today in Parliament. Number 10, we've got Prime Minister's questions, also potentially the publication of Sue Gray's report. Are you nervous to read it? Well, look, obviously she's already published an interim report and we've had a you know, very exhaustive uh, inquiry by the police and they've issued, as we now know, you know, dozens of fixed penalty notices, including one for the Prime Minister himself, which he's paid and you know, he's apologised for, for, for all of those events. Obviously, we'll wait and see uh, what the final Sue Gray report uh, says. She's likely to build, I suspect, on some of the recommendations she made in her interim report. And obviously we'll study that um, you know, very carefully. Would you prefer if you didn't have to defend a prime minister who kept having to apologise? Well, look, uh, all of us, including the prime minister, would prefer uh, you know, that these uh, episodes didn't happen at all, of course. He's made that clear. You know, he's he's apologised for the fact that they happened. They shouldn't have happened. Um, Sue Gray, in her interim report, said there had been a, effectively a blurring of the lines between uh, things like a, a drink maybe at the end of the day in a working environment or a send-off for somebody who uh, was departing and a, a few words. Some of those descended into what it, it is now clear, you know, were actually parties. And that's why the police investigated, issued all those fixed penalties. Obviously, we would all prefer that none of this had happened. Um, and other um, uh, politicians, myself included, you know, fully observed the, the rules, stayed in lockdown like everybody else. Of course, uh, we all find it deeply frustrating uh, that these episodes happened, you know, right in number 10. And just very quickly, if it is found by the Standards Committee that Boris Johnson misled Parliament, should he go? Well, look, I, I think let's not get ahead of ourselves. They've got an investigation that they are conducting. Uh, you know, the, the convention is that, that um, uh, ministers should not knowingly, uh, and, and, and MPs indeed, should not knowingly mislead Parliament. Um, that is, uh, the Prime Minister has given a, an account of uh, his understanding of these events. But look, the Committee on uh, Standards and Privileges are, are looking at this. They're obviously going to want to uh, themselves take evidence from the Prime Minister and from others you know, before reaching a judgment. And I think we should let them, you know, do that work and, and not get ahead of ourselves.